everyone, so in today's video I am going to be doing another Q&A because I haven't done one of these in quite a long time. So this is going to be like a Q&A slash advice video. I was going to do a school advice video but I changed my mind. But if you want me to do one of those then comment down below and I may do one soon in the future if it's something you want to see. Any regrets and yeah, everyone has regrets. I have so many regrets. Like I regret everything I do about five minutes after I do it. However, that's life. If you go back and change all of your regrets right now, you will be in a completely different position as to what you're in. Like your regrets shape you into who you are and although they are a big problem and you hate yourself for like regretting them and doing them, they shape you into who you are and you know, you learn from your mistakes. They're teaching me a lot so I, yeah, I have regrets but it's a good thing. Sarah asks, One Direction versus Justin Bieber, and I'm sorry Biebs, but it's got to be One Direction, I'm sorry. I love you and all, but Velvet Sug asks my honest opinions on YouTube. Like, I get we all make videos because we enjoy them. I feel like some, this isn't me being bitter because I don't have many subscribers, because honestly I don't care. But I feel like some YouTubers gain subscribers for like nothing. Like, they, they don't make videos that they put effort into. They don't even enjoy it that much. They just make them for fame and they get the fame. There are so many people who are so good at this thing. Although it is a hobby, they're so good at it that it could be their job. But because they're not like really attractive or they're not like, I don't know, YouTube's weird. I love YouTube so much. It's helped me meet some of my best friends and I am really happy with where I am and what I'm doing. But I just feel like some people are gaining popularity for all the wrong reasons. Natalie asks, any advice when it comes to anxiety? I will be making a whole video on this at some point, eventually. So stay tuned for that. However, I would say with anxiety, it's good to push yourself but know your limits, like know when something will definitely be too much but push yourself still because the only way you're going to get over it is to push yourself. I haven't had a panic attack in quite a while. That's crazy to me because there was a point where I was having them every single day, even the thought of leaving my house. So just do things, push yourself slowly and in ways that make you comfortable but do push your boundaries because otherwise you're never going to get out of them. Also surround yourself with people who will understand if you physically can't push yourself. Like, I mean, most of the time I can buy things in shops, however, I will have days when I physically can't and I need my friends to understand that. Kaylee says, will I be in your video? Guess we'll see, who knows? Watch it to find out. The next question was asked by Brianna and she says, what do you do at 4 a.m. in the morning when you can't get to sleep like me at the moment? Personally, I make a cup of tea and I watch YouTube videos or I write or I read. At of all of those I would recommend reading the most because it doesn't require any like light from like phones or anything to keep you awake and reading will kind of make you feel tired so I'd recommend getting like a drink like water or hot chocolate or whatever and just reading even if you're not reading get a magazine or something because it makes your mind tired sometimes I like to just lay in bed with like the lights off and listen to music and just stuff like that you know what's your favorite ice cream flavor cookie dough ice cream by Ben & Jerry's is like my Oh, literally buy me that and I will love you for the rest of eternity because it's just so, so nice. Or if I'm going to be boring, chocolate. What do you look forward to at Christmas? Everything. Everyone focuses too much on the presents of Christmas, however I like the decorations and the festivity and the singing and the films, like that kind of stuff, the like, festivity of it, I love with like all of my heart. If you had to choose anywhere in the world to visit, where would you choose? New York like 50 times over. I am in love with New York because I like the big buildings and the whole idea of it being busy and everyone has a story. Like where I'm a writer, I like to people watch to like get ideas for books and stuff. I like to like play a guessing game in my head where I guess people's stories and stuff like that. So it's really, big cities are really inspiring to me and New York is one of them because it's just so packed full of so many different kinds of people. Jenna asks, could you ever see you making YouTube your job? Not gonna lie, not really. I can't imagine myself ever being popular enough because I'm not like really pretty I'm not like really interesting even uploading a video now with 2,000 subscribers scares me let alone if I had enough to make YouTube my that would be ter- that would genuinely be terrifying I mean it'd be cool because it'd be a job that I'd be able to do considering my anxiety doesn't let me do much but I just I can't see it happening I suppose I can say I wish but it's probably wouldn't ever happen because I'd never get big enough for that but yeah Sophie asks my favourite thing about life and travelling and going to live concerts and 
adventuring around places at night. Like, my favourite parts of Summer in the City were weirdly my late night 2am adventures. Like, we weren't even doing anything of any interest, but yet the fact that it was dark just made it so much more fun. I don't know, I really enjoy things like that and going to a concert where, like, singing along to your favourite songs and seeing your favourite bands live. I love it so much. You kind of feel a lot less lonely when you're in situations like that and I just love it. And again, with travelling, because who doesn't love travelling and seeing new places and meeting new people? Harriet says, what books have you been loving this month and any recommendations? If you didn't know, I do have a booktube channel. There's only one video on it as of now, but eventually I'm going to be uploading once a week where I can just get into like the swing of things. Like, so much is happening right now because it's getting close to Christmas, but so everything's kind of crazy. But however, when I kind of settle back down, I will be uploading once a week on that channel. There's this book series that I have loved for years, and it's really underrated. Like, no one knows actually read it, apart from like one person. And it is this series by Jessica Shervington, is that how you say it? This is the first book, and it's called Embrace, and it's about like half angels and stuff like that. It's so crazily underrated. Like, if you like the mortal instruments and stuff like that, you'll like this. It's kind of got love stories in, but not too much, and obviously it's got half angels in and demons. This series has been an underrated favourite of mine for like ever. Honestly, I would hands down recommend this series. 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. This is like a single book. It touches on subjects like suicide because the girl kills herself and she leaves tapes behind. And there was 13 reasons why she killed herself. And this is done from the perspective of Clay Jensen. It has the, he like gets the tapes and he hears her story play out. Honestly, oh my god. This book will make you think about what you say to other people and your actions and like how much even the smallest of things can like hurt other people. Like some of the things people did in this book weren't even that dramatic like on their own but if you combine them with everything else and it really makes you think about what you say to other people and it will change your perspective on everything so that's why I'd recommend you read it because I feel like everyone needs to read this book even if they don't like subjects like this. It just really makes you think and I love books like that. Thank you so much for watching, give this a huge thumbs up if you liked it, not that you can choose how big the thumbs ups are but not the point. Comment down below any books or music recommendations you have for me and everyone else. Subscribe to me if you want to see more of my videos. Subscribe to my booktube channel if you want to see that as well. I'm gonna go now. See ya!